I had a child that swam for a swim club that was putting in 15,000 yards a day and, and I never understood the point of why a swimmer had to swim 15,000 yards to prepare him to swim 100 yards. The fans almost sucked out of something because the, the high yardage, they grind the athletes, the athletes tired all the time, they want to sleep but they can't sleep because they got to go swim at 4 in the morning. I mean, it's just, it's, it's crazy. Uh, practicing slow swimming does not make a fast swimmer. So much dogma in swimming that it's so hard for people to break away from it. And we knew that there had to be a better way of doing that. And I mean, obviously, I, I didn't think, well, you could just train like this, you know, and do it until we met Doc. So it was really easy for me to say, okay, I get it. Once we started training like this, I mean, our times I mean, improved drastically. Everything is geared toward the technique that if you don't have the technique, then uh, a lot of the other stuff is not going to make any difference. I believe your overuse injuries are going to go away. You know, as long as you're still obviously concentrating on technique, because, you know, if you swim properly, you save your joints. Uh, you know, thousands and thousands of yards on, an, on, an, on a bad motion is going to ruin your rotator cuffs, and you see it all the time. Without training, I mean, a typical practice is usually an hour. If we're lucky, maybe an hour and a half. And um, I guess we do, we train twice a day, so in the morning and the evening, just to kind of space it out and give us enough rest. He can go to a meet and he swims the best time almost every time he goes to a meet. We don't have to wait the whole season to try and swim the best at the end and hope that it happens. You know, we don't need to taper because he's not, he's not fatigued. We don't get out the pool and he's all wore out. You know, we get to close to overreaching and then we rest him. So he never goes into a, a deteriorated way. You know? And a lot of people think, oh, this, that's crazy. I mean, there's no way you can do. I mean, because, let's see, our yardage is probably no more than 2,000 or even 1,500 if we're lucky. So, I mean, when you see people doing sets of 8,000, so it just makes no sense. And I mean, a lot of people will think this makes no sense, but I mean, it's been proven and it's scientifically backed up, so. The data and statistics that uh, we've been shown here has really helped uh, explain to us the details of how to implement uh, correctly and why it's implemented in that way. But the basic fundamental of, yeah, you don't practice to run a marathon in order to run a sprint is some, like I said, it's the reason why we started our, our club. Ever since we started training, we've been breaking national records. More consistently, we've been, I mean, closer to our times every single meet. We've been going tons faster. Our, and what's nice with this training is we can come into a meet pretty much knowing exactly what we're gonna go based on the training that's been done. And the kids love it. They go to school and they tell their friends, you know, we're, we're not killing ourselves every day. We're racing and we're having fun. And that's kind of our, our motto at our club is just race and have fun. It's gonna, it'll change parents' lives because you can get it done faster. The kids have more fun. I mean, and that's what we really want to do. We want to be enjoying the sport and having fun with it. We also have learned that we were on the right track, but we didn't really know how to go about doing it. Well, we had been in the process of implementing the, uh, this type of swimming into our group. Uh, it was very encouraging that we're in the ballpark. We just needed a little bit of a direction of how to set the program up and implement it. If you need to know how to implement that, and in what way you can lower that yardage down and let the kids have fun, let them see improvement in a very quick time. Uh, in this age of instant gratification, uh, this is the program to use to do that. You don't have to try to figure it out on your own.